So in this video we want to uh, graph these lines. We also want to determine if they're functions or not. And then we also want to come up with the uh, domain and range for both. So first things first, we'll take a look at uh, this green line. And uh, since it's set equal to y, we know that that's going to be y-intercept form. So that's going to be like that, y equals mx plus b. Um, our b value is the y-intercept, and then our m value is the slope. It's always the number in front of the x. It doesn't include the x though, uh, remember that. Uh, now when we graph, the first thing that we want to graph is the y-intercept. So that's going to be the number that's being added or subtracted after the x usually. So that in this case is negative 2, so we plot that. After we plot the y-intercept, we look for the number right in front of the x, and that's going to be 3, and that represents the slope. So 3 could also be written as 3 over 1, which is rise over run. So from this point right here, we got to go up 3 and then over 1, and then make our point. We could do that again, up 3 over 1, and then make another point, and then simply connect all these points right here and that will give us our line. So now, after we have our line plotted or drawn, um, we could uh, determine whether it's a function or not. And I like to do the vertical line test whenever we have a graph. So if we look at this line right here that's diagonal, and we could run a vertical line through it a bunch of times, we could determine if it's a function or not. Now, because each one of these vertical lines only crosses the green one at one point, we could say that it is a function. So you'll see right here it crosses it once, right here it crosses it once, one time, and then one time. That just represents a function. If it crossed it two times for some reason, then it wouldn't be a function. All right, so let's get rid of this and determine the uh, domain and range. So we'll say D for domain, and then we're gonna put this in interval notation. And uh, when we think of domain, we wanna think of the lowest X value in the highest x value. So let's think of uh, in terms of our x value going this way and then our x value going this way for the highest. So this left side will be the lowest, this right side will be the highest. And if we follow our, all of our x values to the left as they decrease, do they ever, do they ever stop at one point specifically? Uh, no, they keep going for uh, negative infinity. So that's what we're going to call out for the lowest value here. That will be negative infinity. And then we go to our right and we keep going higher and higher and higher for our x values and that will go towards positive infinity. Now we need to use uh, parentheses or brackets and since we have infinity symbols we're going to use parentheses. We always always use parentheses when it comes to infinity symbols. And then that's going to be our domain. Uh, call out our range here. And then uh, range is going to be, let's see, we'll do this in red. So you look at the highest uh, value and then also the lowest value for y. So first we go low value. So how low can we go with our y values? Well, if we follow it all the way down and decrease our y values, it's going to just keep going forever. So that's going to be, uh, we'll do this in green, negative infinity. And then just like the x values, if we look at uh, the line and we increase our y value, it's going to keep on going higher and higher and higher, always towards positive infinity. So that's going to be our upper part. So parentheses again because we have infinity symbols and that will be the domain and range uh, for this line right here which we could also call all real numbers because um, it doesn't stop. Every number can be included in the domain and in the range. So uh, let's take a look at this blue line then and uh, we refer to our y equals mx plus b formula up here. So what's being added or subtracted? Well, in this case, nothing. Uh, there isn't. So our y-intercept is going to be 0. So go ahead and put that on our y-axis at 0. And then our slope is always in front of the x value, which is negative uh, 1 over 2. So we're going to go uh, down 1 because it's negative, And then we're going to go to the right 2 and that will be our other point. So because it's negative one, it's gonna go down one, and then again over two. And then we can connect those dots. That's a really bad line, but hopefully you get the idea. Uh, if we did the vertical line test, we run a bunch of vertical lines through it, you'll see that 
they only pass once, so that will be a function. Um, let's get rid of those. And then uh, for the domain and range, it's going to be the same thing as this line up here. We could follow our line all the way to the left, and we'll keep going to negative infinity. If we follow it to the right, it'll keep going to positive infinity. Remember, keep the x values in mind when you do the domain. So that's going to look like this. And then um, the lowest uh, y value will be uh, negative infinity. And then if we follow our line and increase the y values, it's going to go towards positive infinity. So just like the other one, we have negative infinity, comma, positive infinity for the range. And that's also all real numbers for both the domain and range.